fifteen hundred dollars hmm okay here i'm actually quite speechless guys hi guys and welcome back to another video how much does it cost to live in toronto in case you're moving to toronto soon or you're still in the process of considering whether or not to make toronto your new home you might be wondering how much you should budget for living costs so I found this cost of living table online on this website called numbeo.com and this page here specifically lists the cost of living in Toronto, Canada. I go through these cost items one by one and tell you what I think about it based on my own experience. Utilities can cost quite a lot, especially if they're not included in your rent yet. So take that into account when you set up your budget. So basics, electricity, heating, cooling, water and garbage for an 85 square meter apartment would cost $174.30. So as some of you guys might know, I currently live in a studio apartment and luckily heating is already included. So all I need to pay for utilities is actually hydro or electricity. And for that alone, for an about 35 square meter studio apartment, every month I pay about $50 just for electricity. So 85 square meters is more than double the size of my apartment. So if I pay $50 just for electricity alone, it could easily be $70 or $100 per month depending on how many and what kind of appliances you have so yes if you add heating to that i could imagine that that easily adds up to 180 dollars per month and that is why guys when you're looking for an apartment pay attention to what is included in the utilities it really pays off to have an apartment where rent already includes heating because especially in the winter where it gets so freezing cold in canada you don't want to skimp on heating you want to be able to turn up the heat when it gets really cold and if that is already included in your rent then it really gives you a peace of mind because you will not be surprised with this huge bill at the end of the month by the way guys if you're enjoying this video so far and you found it useful then please do me a favor and hit the like button that would really help this channel because that would signal to youtube that people like this video that this video is useful and that it should be pushed out to more people Okay, let's go on. One minute of prepaid mobile tariff local, 0.42 cents, no discounts or plan. And I believe this is right, but guys, very important. Why in the world would you not look for a cheap plan or discounts? There's a wide choice of cell phone plans here in Canada, which usually already include local minutes, so you pay $0 for that. Let's go on to internet. And by the way, guys, for those of you living in Canada, I used to use Rogers, but after that, around three days, Rogers internet outage, in the end, I switched to Bell, but that is a story for another time. So here, internet, 60 Mbps or more, Unlimited data cable ADSL cost $74.36. And yes, I would say that is about right, around $75 to $85. That is what internet costs here. Let's move on. Sports and leisure. Fitness club monthly fee for one adult is $60.69. It's hard to say because again, it will very much depend on the kind of fitness club. Let's just take the example of Good Life Fitness. This is a large network which has a large network of gyms and see how much the membership costs here. So here they have an essential and premium membership. The essential membership starts at $30 every other week, which would mean $60 per month. If you get the premium, then it's about $70 per month. And then there's also a joining fee. Next up, tennis court rent, one hour on the weekend, $22.50. I've never done this here, but it seems quite reasonable to me. Cinema, international release, one seat, $15. Yes, it's around that price, the standard price, but if you book your seats online, then usually there's an online booking fee of $1.50. But by the way, guys, in case you do not want to spend one cent on cinema tickets, then you have to watch this video up here. Because if you have a Scotia Bank credit card, you can actually accumulate points and within a few months, you might have enough for one free ticket. At least that is what we do. We never pay for our cinema tickets. Next up, childcare, also an area that I'm not knowledgeable about, but let's just take a look at it. Here it says preschool or kindergarten, full day private monthly for one child is $1,500. This is a lot. This is as much as rent for a studio apartment. For context, guys, if you were to work as customer service at a company and let's say you earn $15.50, which is the minimum wage in Ontario right now, you would need to work 103 hours for that. If we divide that by four weeks, you would need to work a part-time job of 26 hours to earn enough to pay for a private preschool for one child. <sighs> Let's go on. International primary school yearly for one child, $27,000. 
Okay, here I'm actually quite speechless, guys, and the reason is this. I grew up in Germany where I didn't pay a cent for school, for primary school, I mean. But even for university at that time, I only paid a very small administration fee, and that is why I just can't imagine someone having to pay $27,000 for international primary school. But well, it's international. Now let's move on and talk about clothing and shoes. This is fun. One pair of jeans, Levi 501, are similar, $80.30. Yes, very possible. And that is why I would recommend only buying clothing when it's on sale. Because if it's on sale, then instead of $80, it might cost you only $50 or even $40. One summer dress in a chain store, Zara H&M, $48.50. Personally, I buy clothes when they're on sale. I think that I rarely spend this much money on a single dress. So relax, guys. If you also have a very, very tight budget, there are sales all around the year where you would typically find summer dresses at Zara or H&M for as low as $20, $29, and men's shirt also, for example, for $20 or $30. So if you shop smartly, you do not have to spend this much. Next, a pair of Nike running shoes, mid-range, $123. Yes, pretty accurate. I think that these kind of branded items, the price, the price levels are pretty similar around the world. A pair of men leather business shoes, $140. Yes, if they're good quality. So just to recap again, for clothing and shoes, if you shop on certain days, for example, during a summer or winter sale, like Friday, Boxing Day, and so on, then you can get many items at half the price and save yourself a lot of money. So guys, what do you think about the cost of living in Toronto? Do you still think that it's extraordinarily expensive or not as expensive as you thought or cheaper compared to where you are currently living? Please do let let me know in the comments below. I would really, really love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.